This program provides education, not advice. Sponsors pay a fee for endorsements and interviews. See the truthayf.com disclosure page for details. This is where technology, innovation, and personal finance come together. This is the truth about your future with Rick Edelman. How should you think about Bitcoin? Turn to a specialist. For six years, Bitwise has been helping investors access crypto. Bitwise manages the world's largest crypto index fund. They also offer six crypto ETFs. You get cutting-edge insights, expert Bitcoin research, and a nationwide team to help. Bitwise helps investors and advisors navigate crypto with confidence. Partner with a specialist. Look for ETFs backed by Bitwise. Bitwiseinvestments.com. Carefully consider the extreme risks associated with crypto before investing. It's Monday, July 15th. Well, actually, no, it isn't. It's Sunday, July 14th, uh, and it's around 1 in the morning. Uh, I'm recording this late Sunday evening. You're going to hear it on Monday, but I'm recording it late Sunday night, I guess, well, now, wee hours of Monday morning, because I'm on the road. Jane and I are traveling, and I had pre-recorded Monday's show, which you're going to hear in a couple of minutes, which is about AI, has nothing to do about, frankly, current events. But because of what has happened here in this country, I felt compelled, July 15th, to record this message for you. By the time you hear it on Monday, it may be out of date. There may be new events or news or revelations or announcements that may render what I'm about to tell you um, out of date or moot or irrelevant. I'm going to hope not, but I wanted to share with you my thoughts. And I'm not terribly sure that what I'm going to share with you is terribly different from what you yourself have been thinking in response to the horrific assassination attempt the other day against former President Donald Trump. This was not a shock to me. I'm not sure it was a shock to very many people. I predicted on this podcast a long time ago regarding the 2024 presidential campaign, my prediction was violence. And the reason is, for all the reasons we all know so horribly well, the rhetoric from both political parties has reached a crescendo that is completely unacceptable, intolerable. Instead of debating policy, instead of arguing on the facts, instead of taking into consideration the other's position, both political parties, from the very top on down to the pundits who comment on what is happening and what is being said and done by the political candidates, has reached a level where we are now engaging in personal attacks. Everything from name-calling to catastrophizing, arguing that the other candidate is going to spell the end of democracy, that the other candidate is ruinous for this country. Both candidates have made statements to this effect. Both parties have released platforms to this effect. Pundits from both sides of the political spectrum have made comments along these lines. And it's one thing for two candidates competing with each other for a given office to bounce back and forth with accusations, assertions, contentions. But what neither the president nor the former president seem to understand is that there are tens of millions of Americans listening to this rhetoric, and there are enough of them who are, quite frankly, crazy, who are willing to take at face value what they are saying. So when they hear claims of lock him up or put a target on his back or throw him in jail or you name it, you've heard it as well as I, there are some people who are unfortunately taking those comments literally. We saw this on January 6th to horrific effect. We have seen it with assassination attempts ranging from the governor of Michigan to uh, the former Speaker of the House to countless numbers of judges and members of Congress, and the list goes on and on and on. This cannot be allowed to persist. And so since this is a show fundamentally about your future, I'm here to offer you two scenarios of what the future of the United States is likely to look at. In one future, both Donald Trump and Joe Biden speak out 
publicly, passionately, and with a high degree of commitment and sincerity that the rhetoric must stop, that we must stop accusing the other of being un-American, that we must stop accusing the other of hating Americans, and that we must realize that merely because we may have political differences over policy and viewpoints on what is best for the country, we must win the hearts and minds and votes of the American public via persuasion, not enforcement, not by violence. We cannot win an election by killing our opponent. That turns us into a banana republic. The one thing that has made the United States of America the greatest country in the world for over 200 years is that we operate under the rule of law. We must emphasize persuasion, and that means presenting the facts. It means looking at the full spectrum of a complex topic and presenting the case eloquently to the electorate. We cannot allow any other course of action. And that's the message that the president and the former president must convey to the American public. That is one of the two messages that they're going to convey. And if they both do this, I am highly confident that this incident we have just witnessed will be the nadir of our campaign season. We will have experienced the bottom and it will get better from here. But if the president and if the former president don't do that, if instead they ratchet up the rhetoric, if they engage in vindictiveness, if they engage in calls for retaliation, if they cite this as a call to arms, then I'm afraid, my friends, we are witnessing the beginning of the next American Civil War. I don't know which way it's going to go. It is my prayer, it is my hope, that the former is the direction we see our leaders take. Quite frankly, I am not certain that that is the path that we will witness and experience. We're going to find out in the next 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours, the future of this country is going to be decided very quickly by the next public statements by both Donald Trump and Joe Biden. Chances are, quite possibly, you'll have already heard them by the time you're listening to this because as I said, I'm recording it very late on Sunday night into the wee early hours of Monday. I'm hoping that they both do what is right, do what is in the best interests of this nation, do what the founders and framers of our Constitution called for, and if that is the case, then the United States of America will continue to be the greatest nation on earth. If not, you and I will be having some very different conversations in the days and weeks ahead. And with that message, I want to express as much as you the relief and thankfulness that Donald Trump wasn't more seriously injured, our prayers to the victims of the shootings and our aspirations that America is going to once again be the nation that we all wish it to be. And with that, I'm going to return you to what I had earlier recorded prior to Gene and I taking our trip about AI. And that is coming up now. On today's show, the newest examples of how AI is going to put you out of work. You've seen the photos, AI images of people that aren't people. They are fake images, but they sure look like real people. Now these AI programs can not only create images of people, they can take a photo of you and create an image of you wearing a certain piece of clothing. Now you don't have to just look at a website of clothes and wonder if it'll fit or how you'll look in it. Now you can actually see yourself wearing it. So that clothing catalog or that online shopping site, no more fashion models. Every model on the page will be you. Fashion models will be out of work. So will the fashion photographers who take their photos. Who else in that supply chain will also become obsolete? We're talking about an entirely new field called digital twins. You'll have one, a twin of yourself digitally. Gartner says that within 10 years, companies will have digital twins for every customer. And let's not stop there. These AI sites will scrape the web to get data about you. They'll not only just have your photo, they'll be able to predict your characteristics, your shopping preferences, even your health profile. These AI systems will not only predict how you'll look in an item of clothing, they'll predict how you'd answer questions. One company created digital versions of 27,000 people and licensed it out to a group of companies that are using them as focus groups. They're even using the health data they gather about you to predict how disease might progress over time. This can help clinical trials get done faster and cheaper with more accurate results. 
One reason people like this is that when you participate, you voluntarily give the researchers your health info. And because you're creating your digital twin, your twin is guaranteed to get the experimental drug. In a normal trial, half the patients in a trial get a placebo. So that means you'll know if this drug will help you. These new AI tools are cheap. They cost five or six figures. That's nothing for a company that's spending millions on just focus groups. Clinical trials cost even more. AI is so powerful that they're coming up with amazing ways to put it to work. And the more work they create for it, the less work there is for you to do. Make sure your career is insulated. And if you can't do that, make sure your personal finances are. And if you're an advisor, start talking about all of this with your clients right now. The Truth About Your Future with Rick Edelman is brought to you by Schwab. You want control of your financial future, and Schwab knows that. That's why when it comes to managing your wealth, Schwab gives you more choices, like full-service wealth management and advice when you need it most. You can also invest on your own and trade on Thinkorswim, the powerful award-winning trading platforms. Plus, you'll get low costs, transparent pricing, and 24-7 live help. Because Schwab understands it's your financial journey, and they believe you should have choices in how you invest. Visit schwab.com to learn more. Hey, financial advisors, are you fluent in crypto, blockchain, Bitcoin, Ethereum, stable coins, tokenization, and most importantly, crypto taxation, estate planning, and asset allocation? Take the online course, become certified in blockchain and digital assets. Thousands of financial professionals from 37 countries have enrolled. Become fluent in crypto so you can help your clients and build your practice. Enroll today and get your CBDA designation. On tomorrow's show, we're going to look at another way AI is threatening your job, but there might be a silver lining. I'm glad you're with me here on The Truth About Your Future. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to follow and subscribe to the show wherever you get your podcasts, Apple, Spotify, YouTube. And remember, leave a review on Apple Podcasts. I read them all. Never miss an episode of The Truth About Your Future. Follow and subscribe on your favorite podcast app. I'll see you tomorrow. How do advances in science, technology, and medicine translate into investment opportunity? Listen and learn. This is The Truth About Your Future with Rick Edelman. 